there's always that one extra latch, always. pulled up here look at this right here now that don't look at my face I just tried to focus on my face um, that is my dad's acoustic now I started playing guitar when I was about 15 turning 16 and I was all about electric guitar all the time I thought acoustic guitar sucked and if you don't have distortion and effects and all this kind of stuff what's even the point why, why would you even want to play one of those those grandpa guitars <laughs> an acoustic and um, I wanted to make a video about how our, our mindset changes as players. So like I said, that was my dad's guitar. I remember I used to, when I got my Fender Strat, I'd tell him like, when are you gonna get a real guitar? You know, it, it takes growing up as a player to realize things. And one of the things I realized as years went on, it's like, well, all my favorite guitar players, they, there's all this acoustic music, even though I was, I was like, just focused on electric. I wanted to play electric guitar. That was it. That you know, didn't care about anything else. And what happened was I realized I needed to approach the acoustic guitar like an acoustic guitar. I'm sure that sounds like self-explanatory. You're like, "Well, obviously." But it's not that easy whenever, you know, you're you're just learning how to play guitar. You think that there's just uh, the only thing in the world is the electric guitar. And I played acoustic guitar for a really long time the same way I play electric guitar. Now, as you grow and progress as a musician, you quickly realize that acoustic is its own thing. There is, there are worlds apart. You do not play an acoustic the same way that you play an electric guitar. The approach changes everything. It's different. Sorry, I see this on the headstock here. Um, it's this new, uh, the guys at Snark sent me this. This isn't, this is, video is not sponsored by anyone. But um, they sent these new Snark tuners over. Look at that thing. It just goes on the headstock and turns. I don't know. It's cool. But I, I kept seeing it out of the corner of my eye. I'm like, I gotta get that tuner off there. So all those years telling my dad, acoustic suck, you know, play electric. What am I holding here? Now, like I said, this is my acoustic. I don't know if I've ever done a dedicated video to it. It pops up from time to time and you guys ask me about these. Uh, this is a Martin HD28. Now, I don't know any of the specs, so I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. You can. This was kind of like my one and done acoustic. I'm like, you know what? I want one super nice acoustic and uh, I'll, I'll probably never want another one, <laughs> honestly, because even though I, I love acoustic and I love guys like Tommy Emanuel and all, and all of them so much, I'm still an electric guy at heart. You know, I, I don't think that's ever gonna change. That is just who I am and I, I embrace it and I accept it. And I was like, I just want one really, really nice acoustic that sounds the way that I, that big acoustic sound that I wanted. D28, loved them. Um, HD28 was really the one that I liked. So I, I bought this. this. This was no special discount, not given to, nothing like that. I bought it just like a normal customer from Sweetwater years ago. And um, I love it. The only thing I had to do to it was it came with 13s on it. And this thing is big and boomy when you are recording. So I dropped it down to 12s and it got rid of that like overpowering low end. I mean, I'm sure like for recording, people would still think it's too much, but I'm not in studios recording. I'm just, I'm usually just sitting on the back porch or sometimes I'm layering it in a track, but I have just grown to love 
acoustic so much. To, to go from like just thinking it was the most boring, lame thing in the world to like, oh my God, so much appreciation. When I hear a great acoustic player, I'm like, all right, you're good. When you're young, when I say young, I mean young as a musician. So it doesn't matter how old you are. If you've just started playing guitar, you're a young musician. Our, our whole ideal of music and how we play it and instruments, it's, it's gonna change so much throughout the span of you playing guitar. So, you know what? The quicker you can get to appreciating all of it, the, the more fun it kinda is. So the moral of the story here, make fun of your dad for playing acoustic while you play electric. And then years later, go buy an acoustic. <laughs> then send him a picture of it and he's like, oh, you finally got a real guitar. It all went full circle. I just realized, I used to tell him get a real guitar, and then here it is, I got an acoustic, and then he's telling me I finally got a real guitar. Man, that all came back to you. I'm just having this realization right now. <laughs> but in all honesty, in all honesty, there we go, acoustics are amazing. You know, I, I, uh, I'm glad that I made it to the point where I could appreciate them in the right way. So if you get yourself an acoustic, See what different sides of you it, it brings out because it does a lot for me. And uh, I just hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Thanks for hanging out with me. Nerdy acoustic video. Uh, I don't know, do you guys want more acoustic stuff? I, I don't think I'm, I'm much of an acoustic player, but I, I love the, um, the challenge of it all. Oh, we're gonna end up bluesy like, or in a, yeah, end up bluesy like this. Appreciate you guys. Bye, homies.